So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video. And today guys, I'm gonna to showcase to you a simple way of earning the rare material of insulated metallic foil. This is used for various things, which you will eventually need. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out. Tell me if you like what you see and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so in Albion, come to the research vendor research request people and if you search for foil you'll see exactly what these things are used for now this farm will showcase to you it'll give you about between 15 and 20 every two to three minutes but yes this is the material right here guys insulated metallic foil it's used for various few things to be honest and it will be a material you will eventually come well you're going to need again it's used for right here ultimate Viesa enhanced cells this is just one crafting material used to actually get ultimate Viesa and it's for various different things too people like I said I mean so yeah this is definitely a material you're gonna want to need sooner or later so where do you get this well guys it's actually a real early game farm a mission you can do over and over like so you can run between two and three minutes where you can get this thing so if you come to Kingston, now what I will say is as well, I tried this on hard. It makes no difference whatsoever besides just making the enemy much, much harder to take out. And it makes the mission a lot a longer to run. So yeah, put it on normal mode, people. Come to Kingston and you want to come to the Fallen Theatre area. And this is the mission right here. So we're just going to go there. Just like this. Now you will get, like I said, there's two enemies within this mission. One near the beginning and one at the very end. Uh, and for each one, I was getting between seven and nine per kill on this particular enemy. So yeah, it's, it's pretty quick as well. You can do it private, you can do it in a team. It really don't matter, guys. So I'm just going to mark it because I know what I'm like and I'll completely lose my way. So it's going to run this way, guys. On a uh, bunny as well, it's going to be quicker than that. Yeah, so keep that in mind. If you're running bunny, you can probably get this done in about two and a half minutes. Any other uh, descendant, I'm probably going to say about three and a half minutes i don't know it depends how quick you are guys you'll see how quick you can run this it's not hard and if you're over leveled which it should be by the time you need this material by the time you come here guys it's going to be a w absolute walk in the park now i'll just do public just in case there's a newbie here who needs help getting through this mission i can help them out but you can do this private it's going to make no difference when you see how easy these enemies are taken out again especially if you are over leveled i do want to say credit to my pal Jakob, for actually showcasing this to me uh, without him I wouldn't be able to bring this guide. Okay, so wait for it to go. I'm just running forward, guys. I mean, it's like the mission's just so easy. I mean, watch how quick they die. <laughs> Again, only if you're over leveled, though. If you're unlevel, it's going to take you a little bit longer to run. I'll probably say about five minutes. But you're not really going to need these materials that early on in the game. I'm not going to lie to you. So, yeah. I mean, it's just so easy, people. So, and again, like I said, it's one of the missions. If you're in a team, if you're in a full team, I'm pretty sure you could get this done in probably under two minutes, you know, especially when you get used to the run and what you got to do here. I don't think it's going to take you longer than that. So now, guys, you simply just, I don't think, is that the guy dropped something for you? There you go. I got seven this time. Cool. Again, it's between seven and nine per enemy you kill. Uh, that's the lowest I've got anyway, and the highest I got was nine. So, yeah. Now, guys, you, you've done that. And you simply push on forward. Simple as this. You come to another room, just like that one, um, take out the ads, and basically the mission's over. So yeah, those are you who's, well, I will get to that stage when I'm going to start farming materials for Ultimate uh, Descendants, but right now I'm not really that, that into it because I've got Bunny I really want to max out and create the perfect build for. Then I'll go for Ultimate Bunny, obviously. I almost killed myself then. Well. Yeah, then I'll go for Ultimate Bunny and then I'll start working on the other Descendants. But that's just me, everyone plays the game differently. So yeah. And again, like I said, if you're in a team, these enemies ain't going to last very long at all. Because everyone's going to be knowing exactly what they're doing. So yeah, take these guys out. I think there's a few more down here. I think I'm actually running it with the new players, you know. I'm pretty sure I am. Get out of my way, lad, unless they're running it for the exact same reason. Then, yeah, that's cool. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so this is the final room. Take out the enemies, guys. And you will get that other boss that spawns in. Now, like I said, I've tried it on hard. The enemies take probably each one. Probably takes about four to five times the amount of damage. So, yeah, it really isn't worth it. And again, when I tried it on hard as well, I tried and tested it. I was getting the same amount of materials dropped. 
Now normally, in regards to Kuiper shards and things like that, you get way more. Well, this particular material for me wasn't dropping uh, anymore, to be honest. So yeah, you keep in mind, you're running it on hard. Everything will drop at a level 100, so yeah. What was he doing then? No idea. Uh, what am I using here? I think it's the Thunder Cage. The Thunder Cage is just so quick and nimble to get around with. I'm Bunny. This is my Tamer. Tamer's a monster of a weapon, by the way. I've, I've completely forgot about activating that machine. But if you don't know about the Tamer, I say mid-game players. Um, I mean, that's it. And I got 10 there. Oh, so you can get 10? You get 10 per enemy? I did not know that. So it's actually up to 20, maybe. But I could possibly get more. I don't know. But 10 is definitely the most that I've had. And the mission's basically gone, done, people. When you activate that machine, simple as that game. Once you get the, the route down, what you gotta do, it's so, so easy to do. Mission complete. That probably took me about 3 minutes to be honest, not gonna lie. 3 minutes, 90 seconds, fair enough. Then simply, guys, just restart the mission. I'm running again. <laughs> it's really that. It's really that simple. Um, and yeah, guys, like I said, it's a material that players will be eventually after. I'm not sure how many I've got of these. I've got 79 at the minute, which isn't an amazing number considering how many of these you probably will not needing at the end. Because uh, there's only a few ultimates in the game at the minute. I think there's like four, maybe five. But there's so many other characters and eventually you know what they're going to drop. You know they're going to drop them back in the Ultimate Descendants. So yeah, keep that in mind guys. But yes, if you need easy uh, insulated metallic foils, you know exactly what you need to do. Again, the mission is on Kingston. It is the Magister Lab mission. I'll showcase it to you guys again. Actually, I can't because I'm not on the thing game. But hey, I'll edit that in. Come here guys, do what you gotta do, run it solo, run it with your team, get through it as quick as possible in the team, I'm reckon, I'm, I think it's 2 minutes, 2 minutes 30 tops, solo about 3 minutes depending on how quick you get through it, I say Bonnie, for about 2 and a half, 3 minutes, fair enough, again, do it on normal, don't do it on hard, it seems as though it drops on hard for this particular material, don't drop in any more quantity, so yeah, keep that in mind. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more of the first, send it, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.